I just got call from one of the protesters at Bega, Abuja. And they have been attacked by hoodlums under the watchful eyes of the Nigeria police. The same thing that they did to us in 2014 is what they are doing again 2020. They bring in hoodlums to attack protesters while they watch and tell the hoodlums what they are supposed to do. The Nigerian government does not understand that these young people, these young Nigerians, the youth of this nation that we have failed so badly over the years that they are angry and they have come together and they are working together and they are mobilizing themselves and they are saying they are not retreating. Nigerian government does not understand that why all the other protests that they have seen are protests, protests of empathy. This particular protest is a protest for survival for them because they are being killed. They are being killed on the streets by these sirs. They are not safe. Any one of them, some even just by going out to a viewing center and watching TV, you are not safe. You are finished playing ball, you finish training, you are going home, you are not safe. You have your dreadlocks, you're walking down the street, you're not safe. You have your laptop, you're walking down the street, you're not safe. You're in front of your shop, you're in front of your office, you're not safe. Nobody is safe from SARS. Nobody is safe from police brutality. And that's why they're coming out on the streets and they're making demands. And this government thinks that it's going to use the tactics that he used before to work on them. The government needs to understand that these are very intelligent people. These are people with good educational background. It's not some hoodlums that are on the street. They are well organized and you can see it. And it is better for us to face them now and ensure that their, their, their cries are being met. The government should eat a humble pipe and apologize to them and ensure that they, they, their demands are met and execution plan is brought out. Don't allow them to go underground. We can't afford it. They are very intelligent. They are not hoodlums. They are Nigerians fighting to be given a right to live in their own country.